Welcome bitches one and all to my reaction to season three, episode one of Scam France. Now it's been a long time coming. Since the beginning of watching Scam France, I always said that season three was what I was waiting for because season three of OG was by far my favorite. It, oh, uh, that is one of the, it's very rare to get me to cry at a show. And watching that scene in OG when Isak and Evan like meet each other outside and Oh, I don't know, just their whole storyline was just so beautiful. It's one of the best storylines I've ever witnessed on television. And it's the same with Scam France. Scam as a whole, so far watching OG in France, it's just so realistic. The actors play it so well that they truly make you think that these characters are real. And it really shined in season three for me because... I just became so attached to these two characters and their story and oh it was amazing so yeah i'm really excited for this season my friend has told me that he prefers scam france season three over og season three which at this point i can't see how but who knows i did prefer season two of france over og season two so it could happen but isuk was my favorite character from og so we shall see i watched the trailer for Scam France season three, and I'm excited. The energy of the trailer was just, I don't know. There was something to it, and it just felt really enticing. Like, I really want to watch it right now. And I'm sorry, the guy who plays Evan in this one, fit, I'm sorry. But Jesus Christ, beautiful man. Like I said in the finale of season two, I'm a bit sad that we're at the end of Manon's story. However, I know that she has quite a good friendship with Luca. Is, could someone please clarify, is it Luca or Lucas? Because I always say Lucas, but then they all pronounce it Luca, but they do it like a French accent, so I don't really know what to say. <laughs> but yeah, I know that she has a good friendship with Luca. I'm gonna go with Luca this season. So we're gonna be seeing a lot more of Manon, which I'm quite happy about. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember a lot of OG season three, to be honest, because I watched it that one time. It destroyed my heart, and I vowed never to watch it again. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I just wanted to like, savor it and because I watch stuff so often I've seen like for instance the Harry Potter movies I've seen them so often that I just can't watch them anymore because I know word for word everything that is going to happen <laughs> so I after watching the season I like decided with myself that I was never going to watch it again however that was way before any of these remakes came out so uh I'm kind of breaking my vow but it isn't OG season three so I'm not but yeah I don't know, I'm really excited. So yes, without further ado, let's finally begin season three of Scam France. Guys, can be weird to see it from another person's point of view again. Oh, he's living with them, isn't he? Jesus, I feel like my ears have just been attacked. So this is Emma's? Damn, Emma. <laughs> I know it's weird to say, because like it wasn't long ago, but it's so nice to see them all again. <sighs> I'm gonna be honest, I forgot about that. But yay. <laughs> oh yeah, Blue Hair Alex. I saw that in the trailer. Looks sick. Luca? Oh my boy. I love that. Oh, Luca. Oh. I mean, he has good game. <laughs> yeah, keep the hands to yourself, bitch. This guy's game! You are good, my boy. 
Et du coup, toi, c'est comment Lucas. Eh ben, elle a lu Lucas. Oh. I mean, I don't know his sexuality in this series. I don't know if he's gay or bi or what. I would assume gay, but... Ah, shit. Luca. <laughs> oh, he's got the weed. I'm done. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Mate, you need to clean up. <laughs> Jesus. Well, damn. That's a lot to wake up to. Oh, shit. For fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, haircut. Oh, man. Um... Oh, she's abroad, isn't she? What? A musée? Yeah, Manon. No. If I was in bloody Paris, I would not be going to a museum. Donc là, c'est la cuisine. Et là, on arrive dans le salon. Ah. Oh. C'est cool, non? Et pour le loyer, ça va, tu penses ça? Ouais, ça va. Bah, mon père s'en veut de pas pouvoir m'héberger, du coup, il m'aide. Oh, pas cool. Yeah, nice. Et, et le reste de ta vie, tout ça, tu, euh, tu vois quelqu'un en ce moment? Oh. J'arrive. Ouais. Je suis désolé, il y a Mika qui veut récupérer son thé. Euh, oh, Luke. Euh, euh... Cheeky bitch. Bah, tu tapes pas les mains, non mmh, Non, impossible. <rire> Pourquoi Les gars, elles ont touché son cul. Oh, mais. Tu t'es pas lavé les mains depuis samedi. Non, juré. D'accord. Et tu t'es pas branlé non plus. <rire> ah, le porc. That is fucking disgusting. Bah, vendredi, du coup, hein. That is fucking disgusting. Kiffe ton foyer. Ouais, du coup, c'est quoi le foyer Ah, c'est là où les bolos vont quand ils ont pas cours, gros. <rire> bah, parce que ça va devenir l'endroit le plus charmé du lycée. Non, mais parce que avec les filles, on fait notre TPE sur comment la création d'espaces ouverts à tous favorise les échanges et la communication entre les gens hyper différents. Et du coup, bah, le proviseur et la grave qui fait, il nous a demandé de reprendre le foyer. I mean. Ok. I appreciate it, Daphne, but that sounds fucking boring. <rire> C'est moi ou Daphné est hyper bonne en fait. Oh my god. Does he just go for any girl with a fucking pulse? I fucking hope he goes for the girls with a pulse. Lucas. Lucas. Quoi Mec, t'es clairement en train de mater Madame Rigaud là. Mais ça va pas gros. Comment ça va pas Tu crois que je te vois pas ou quoi Oh, I remember a teacher at school. Beautiful. Ah, Iman, ça fait plaisir de te voir. Oh my god, I didn't even recognize her with her hair. You look sick. Oh shit. Putain, meuf, tu l'as retrouvé, t'es bon? C'est bon quoi? Bah, tu me la rends? Bah, non. Daphne m'a dit que vendredi, vous voulez pas venir offrir. Nice, Simone. Ok, ça va, je viendrai. On s'est pas bien compris, je crois. Toi et tes potes, vous venez tous. Eh, meuf, je suis pas un magicien. Vas-y, c'est bon, on essaiera de venir. Cool. Try to come. Ah oui, faudra aussi que tu viennes plus tôt pour nous aider. On aura besoin de toi pour tout installer et tout. <rire> bah merci. Bye. <rire> Salut Lucas. Salut. Ça va être chauvé, non Ah ouais. Ça sent chelou, non Ça sent la déprime. Ah oui. It's a very dark room as well. On va en faire un truc tellement chambé que les gens ne voudront plus jamais quitter le lycée. C'est la phrase la plus triste que j'ai entendue aujourd'hui. Yeah. <rire> well, this is exciting. Oh. Okay, les gars, gros coup. Bidou, j'ai l'impression qu'elle veut faire. Mais. No. <laughs> oh putain, par contre ça c'était un vrai clin d'œil, ça ce qu'elle aime. That was a wink. Oh, there he is. Really though, he is beautiful. Oh. Okay, putain. Je pense que vous voyez tout si on est, du coup, euh, bah voilà, elle sait. Oh, exciting! Emma, mais qu'est-ce qu'on fait ici? C'est vrai, ça, je suis assez d'accord. Un peu, ouais. Un peu. <rire> ouais, justement. Ce qu'on fait ici, c'est que le foyer, depuis trop longtemps, laisse à l'abandon. La cantine? Ok, bon, stop. Yeah. Le prochain qui parle à sa place, je lui éclate les tibias. <rire> <rire> you always got a mom with you. Au fond, euh, 
foyer, qu'est-ce que vous attendez de nous, tout ça, bah, je vous laisse le lire. N'hésitez pas. <rire> The slight look, I love it. Euh, Daphné, coucou déjà. Euh, alors, c'est à propos de ton numéro. Oh my god. Alors, après 06, il y a 07, 08, 09. Bah, Basile, t'es en, en première, non, tu devrais au moins savoir compter. <rire> <rire> Oh my god, I... I can't! Come on, Luca, look again, look again. Sneakily, yeah, you ain't noticed. Cool, cool. I think we can see who's actually in love. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh! I know they're gonna like fill me with such joy and then break my heart. <laughs> I already know. Oh. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, is he actually going up to him? Hey, nice. Have a convo. Oh, pardon, je t'avais pas vu, excuse-moi. Je sais pas quoi prendre. Le 24, c'est pas mal. Ok. She trusted him. <laughs> Talk. <laughs> oh, did he get that one for you? Please tell me he got that one for him. Ah merde, t'en voulais? Ça tombe bien, c'est pour nous deux. Tu viens? Oh my god, I'm in love. I'm actually in love, and it's been like what five minutes? C'était bizarre, non, cette réunion? Ce questionnaire aussi, là, t'as compris? Ah, mais c'est important de faire ça. Questionnaire. Non. Le questionnaire, non, mais euh, le foyer et tout ça. Ça permet de rencontrer des gens. Hein. Yeah. If it works, I feel like it won't. <rire> Je suis arrivé il y a trois semaines. Terminal L. C'est un peu chelou d'arriver comme ça à cinq mois du bac. Ça aussi, c'est chelou. Donc tout est chelou avec toi, en fait. <rire> Je dois être chelou, alors. Alors là, j'ai pas du tout dit ça. Hein. Et t'as dit quoi Salut juste dit... Ça va? Ah. Ça va. Ah shit. Oh, je peux? Ouais. Merci. Oh, this girl. I feel like I'm gonna be annoyed at her, but I don't mean to be. <laughs> Just fuck off. Je crois que le consensus général, c'est que c'était chelou. I'm sure you're a lovely girl, but can you go? <laughs> Elliot. Luca and Elliot. <laughs> I can't stop smiling. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, it was so good. And it is beginning again. My obsession, my love has resurfaced and I know that they are going to break my heart. <laughs> oh, I loved that. That was such a good first episode. God, Elliot is so like endearing. I can't describe it. He has this like energy to him where I, like I'm just like, I can feel myself like gravitating towards him. Like I just want to know him. And oh my God, beautiful. They are a beautiful couple. Like, let's be real. Damn. Oh, Chloe. <sighs> Like I said, I don't mean to be rude, but can you fuck off? <laughs> like from OG, I know that the girl will get in the way and annoy me. And I know she doesn't mean to and she's none the wiser, but <laughs> I just want my boys together. <laughs> I liked seeing things from Luca's point of view, but I feel like I still need time to warm up to him because he's very, standoffish just as a character he's very he keeps to himself he's quite negative about a lot of things but that obviously just reflects how he's feeling inside so you can't blame him and i just feel like as we know he'll come out of his shell a bit more around elliot oh i'm excited but i just i know i'm gonna get her <laughs> i remember how painful season three was i'm like really happy that i'm doing them as one episode at a time for this season because 
the original plan was always to do multiple for one, and then I was thinking of going back to singles for two, but two was quite a long season, and I found that the episodes didn't have a lot going on in them, so it was quite easy to put them in. But I know that I'm going to be, like, obsessed with these guys this season, so it's going to be a lot harder to cut things. <laughs> so I'm happy I'm doing one on that front, but I just want to watch episode two now, and I can't. Oh, the pain. I want to watch it all. I just want to binge the whole season. I love them. I want to see what happens. Oh. I started the show Young Royals recently, and there's a couple in that that... I don't know. I've just started to obsess over, and it really reminded me of Isaac and Evan, and, like, <laughs> how obsessed I got with them, and how much it hurt at the end. And... I don't know. I'm just immediately drawn to these two already. I really liked the way they, um, this has always been the thing with Scam. Scam is so good at portraying a realistic thing. And I think it really helps having actors who are of the right ages to do it. And just the way that he was like slowly looking back and forth at Elliot, like, just the way it was done was so realistic. Like I can literally picture myself doing that when I was in school. Like, you know, the slight look and the look back, like, oh, did they see? And ah, oh, so well done. I can't remember the relationships of the show past this point now. I can't remember what really happens. I can't remember if Daphne actually does get with one of the friends of um, Luca. I really can't remember. And I like that I can't remember. From this, this point onwards, I don't really have any real recollection. I know a few main points of season three, but they're quite vague in my head. I just know that it was like a big moment and I kind of remember the moment, but that's really it. And oh my God, I'm just so excited. It was nice to see Amon get more screen time this episode and oh my God, I fucking love her. Cause the thing is you see Daphne and Amon, Daphne, like she showed, is quite capable of defending herself, but Daphne is also very much a gullible kind of nice person who can easily be taken advantage of. And the way that Aman just came fucking in and was like, listen, you talk over her one more time and I will fucking kill you. <laughs> I love her. That friend group is just, oh my God, I love them so much. I just want to protect them all. And oh my God, Alex's blue hair. That is her color. She looked fucking amazing. So yeah, that was episode one of season three. I'm extremely excited to continue. I'm really enjoying the way it started. I'm liking the point of view of Luca, it's a different feel to Manon, but I don't quite know how to explain that right now because we've just begun. I feel like in a few episodes I'll pick up on why it feels different to me, but yeah, really enjoying it and I can't wait for next time. So yes, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link down below to my Patreon where you're able to find the uncut reactions to Scam France and all the other shows that I do. For Scam France, I'm gonna try and be one episode ahead, maybe two. You can always go and check on my Patreon before you subscribe or anything to check where I'm at. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.